Hi friends, it's is I.L. Phineas Goo, not in costume because we have a snowstorm here in this crazy place called Wisconsin. It's known for cheese or something. They, they cut the cheese a lot here. So oh, lots of cheese heads. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. You can say ooh. ooh. Yeah, very good, oh, very good. Yeah. Ooh. Welcome to the great Gooey Dungeon Game Show. This is a magnificent little thing that we're doing from Gary Khan. We're having a great time here. Are we not having a great time here? Yeah. Yes. Now, for those of you who do not know how the great gooey dungeon game show works, it is nothing like a TTRPG, so just be prepared for that. I make up the rules as we go along, so just be prepared for that, right? And I screw up all the time, okay? So, so just be prepared for that. Right, Camera Mendy? I, yes. <laughs> all you of had that is one correct. line. All right. So, so how this works is we have marvelous folks up here. We have a wonderful team that will begin, okay? We'll, they will introduce themselves in a moment. And what's going to happen is they are going to take an uh, individual character and they're going to experience a, uh, an adventure. And they get choices that they get to make. They get to make four choices, one each, based on their initiative role. So they will get to choose. Now, the, the interesting thing is that the audience is also part of their team. So if you are with Armando the Bard, who is playing Calopia Sen then you have a paddle in front of you that has Calopia Sen on it, yes? Hold up your paddles and say, hoo-hoo. Ooh, a paddle, a paddle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> bards. Bards. <laughs> Damn bards. All right, let us continue. So, so you understand, right? If you have someone else's paddle, like uh, Tommy, who is playing Fliegen, the little gnome, very, very apropos. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, there you Yes, you have the team Fliegen, wow. which is always like that. I don't understand why they are, but they always are. It's weird. It's like they all drink before they come in or something <laughs> like that. Anyway, if you are with Zix Gramus, who is playing Brandel Steel, you are Brandel, who wins all the time. Brandel Brandel is kind of reserved. Yes, kind of quiet, right? So you are team Brandel. We don't and then have to be loud, Alphineas. We are wizards. We always win. And then at the end, you represent the Twitch stream, so no one will cheer for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you all can give him some it is all right. golf Surely claps. Someone loves golf you. claps, yes, golf <laughs> claps, yes. <laughs> golf clap, golf clap. <laughs> Silence is my middle name. Yay! Yay! And, and this is really one of those, you know, uh, very uh, loose giving away of prizes. So everybody's going to win some stuff today, right? So, yeah, normally we have about 200, 250 people in the room today. We only have about 50, 40, something like that. So uh, so it is, uh, it's going to be prize bonus for all of you all out there. How many on the Twitch? 64. Oh, you, you are outnumbered by the Twitch. <laughs> well done, Twitch. Yes, well done, Twitch. All right, my friends. <laughs> now, now, you can do that. That is totally a permissible thing to do. You can take out your phones. You can go to our Discord, which is how you win the prizes, right, oh, Camera cool. You can do that, right? You can win the prizes on the... Di <laughs> so they can double up, right? They can double up. They can actually cheat. I'm sorry, leaning into your mic. If you're watching on the Twitch stream, on the, on the stream you should create a Discord, uh, what's that called? Address? A Discord address? A link. It's a, a link. link. Yes. yes. It's, it's, these are called links. To and you can win prizes on the stream. Yes, very, very good. Okay, just a couple of announcements that we'd like to tell you about. First and foremost, we are very, very excited about the Kickstarter that we have done called Blood for the Con. And it is literally only a few hours before it ends. Now, here's the deal. Okay, because I am crazy, and Cameron Mendy has called me this in, in the past, I tend to overdo the stretch goals. All right, so, so right now, Right now, we sit at about $48,000 on the Kickstarter, which is magnificent, and thanks to everyone who backed us. It is magnificent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You could do better than that. Come on now. Yay! 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 Yes, very good. That's well pretty done. good for about 50 folk. You know, that's not bad at all. All right. So now listen. So listen. So here's the second thing. The second thing is that we are only a few hours away from being done, okay? But a $90 pledge will get you the Mornwood campaign, the magnificent adventure called Blood for the Con, $90, okay? Physical format with digitals for free along with it, and about $150 <clears throat> in additional stretch goal value, which is magnificent stuff, like maps and treasures and all kinds of cool things, okay? But I think we're gonna hit 50 grand. And when we hit 50 grand, you're gonna get a second 17 by 22 map, hand illustrated, and this bonus mini adventure thing is like $200, so 90 bucks gets you like 300 bucks. 
Okay. Armando, I love you. Look at him. <laughs> Armando, yes. I the part is paying me. <laughs> it was a very good night last night. <laughs> Ms. Goo, Ms. Goo, no, no, Ms. Goo. None of that. None of that happened, Ms. Goo. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, Armando's great. <laughs> oh, <that's> a... <laughs> so am I. <laughs> so listen. Now listen. This is very important. Okay? So if you choose to back us in, you could do so. We would love that. If you can't, then no pressure. None of that kind of stuff going on, okay? But we're going to make that 50K, and we're I think you Wow. Oh, yeah, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Thank you. Okay, let's do that. Yes, hey. Now, I got a second thing I really want to do, okay? Um, you saw your little flyers that are there. So, so Luke and I have been talking about a magnificent thing that is coming. Now, I have to tell you, first of all, this little flyer that you got, the QR code doesn't work. And I think the QR code doesn't work because of me. I think it is my fault, okay? <laughs> so, so, so you have to type in gooeycube.com slash guys, G-Y-Z. Pretty easy type, okay? If you register for that and you keep that little secret code that's on that flyer, and all of you GUI people do not worry. This, Luke and I are doing this for our friends as well, so you'll get, the, you'll get this code. You get a very special gift if you back the Kickstarter when we launch it at the end of the Kickstarter from Luke and I, okay? Yay. And we're really excited about it. It's going to be wonderful. You already can see there's a little Easter egg right on the flyer if you're either well-read or old, okay? One of the two. Yes, if you're old, you get it. If you're well-read, you get it, right? If you don't get it, ask somebody else in the room because they will tell you. It's called the Tomb of Guys and Gags. <gasps> and it is going to be a campaign area in East Vodestia where there is also going to be a magnificent pair of towns called Blun and Edelholm. And if you're good, you can figure out the anagrams. All right, we'll see what happens about that. Yes, you could think about that Blun and Edelholm. But it is, not a, it is not a parody or anything like that. It is an homage. It's an entirely new venture, magnificent campaign area with lots of stuff that harkens back to when I was a kid, which was like... <coughs> The Stone Age. Well played, Armando. <laughs> the Stone Age. All right. So those are our commercials. Can we do something real quick? Can we give a hand for Gary Khan? Are we not having a great time? Yes. It is such a good time. There's all these people showing up, all the legends of our of our game industry, right? They're just amazing people, right? Who have come and, and who have made this what it was, right? This is the truth, right? It's magnificent. So we are having a great time. Lots of people are gaming. And now Without further ado, we're going to get to the great GUI Dungeon Game Show. So before I explain the, uh, the basics of the rules, I need to go over the basics. Mm. But first, we have to introduce. I might need the rules. The one he's <laughs> first, we have to introduce. The ones he's going to all right? break. We never get through all the damn rooms anyway. It doesn't matter. We're giving away a crap load of prizes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. Let us please introduce ourselves, famed adventurers, yes, and who you are playing and what you're doing and all the madness of your life and the, what's going on and what you do and all of that. This is only a two-hour show, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, just Let me take out my notes. Uh, that's right. That's right. I am Armando the Bard, and I appear courtesy of Peter Atkinson's World of Chaldea and Actoroki, where we turn RPGs into performance art. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I also run the Pacificon Game Expo in the San Francisco Bay Area every Labor Day weekend. Um, I am playing, sorry, a Bardbarian, okay? Boo. Named. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. A Bardbarian. A... Boo. There you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. good. Yes, yeah, that's very good. good. Think about being a bard. Okay. <laughs> Calopia Sen. Calopia Sen. Calopia. 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 Rhymes with fallopian. Okay. All great. the fallopians should go. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I say, <laughs> they love me. Okay, um, and she's a barbarian. She's a half elf, and she's gonna kick everybody's butt. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Where's the green room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Fleganites are out. On <laughs> I'm Tommy Rice. Uh, you know me from football. Uh, professionally, and then yeah. I work for Gail Post Iron and a couple of other uh, things that will be coming out. And I'm a huge fan of the Google gaming system. And uh, Luke Gygax is why I'm here, one of my good friends. So that, and plus, I've been gaming since '84. So, like, '84. Flee again! Flee again! Wait, wait! I give you all permission to cheer for each other this time. 
right there. This this one time. You can cheer for each other. All right, let's go. What are you about you, sir? I am Zix Gramus, master of thaumaturgy and head of the department of the Dark and Haven College of Magical Arts. Something like and, that. And uh, frequently. When, when he has not been excommunicated. <laughs> yes, and fre frequently the person who beats Alphineas at Zix. Never happens. Never happens. <laughs> I have taken over the identity of some freelance writer named Rob something or other, but uh, today I get to play the character of the prettiest pretty princess wizard Brandel Steel of the Hanata's Blue Veil Troop. Oh! <laughs> and I am going to win because I am a wizard and she is a wizard and we are going to win. Brandel wins all the time. But uh, <laughs> all right, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't I know am, why. I am Nick Stockbridge. I am a host of a podcast called the FSF Podcast, and we interview many people throughout pop culture. And today I am playing Glenn Wither. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody has to cheer because the stream does not have right. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, Twitter oh, people. <laughs> Listen, if you all don't know, Nick's thing is great. If you all haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's really, really wonderful. So, All right. So here's the quick and dirty how it works. So every time that we uh, progress into the Great Gooey Dungeon Game Show, uh, the players, the characters, there are four of them, get to make a choice based on their initiative role. This is basically how it works. So they'll roll initiative, and the first person with initiative will get to act first. They get to choose one of four choices. Those four choices can have interesting consequences, if you will, right? They could find a monster, okay? They could uh, get zonked, which I'll explain when we have the zonk happen, right? They could uh, unearth Kismia's wheel, which is kind of a gambling thing, yes? And um, they could find loot. Well, Luke? Guy Luke? Yeah, that Luke. guy. No, the other Luke. Oh. Skywalker. <laughs> is, that, is, that a is that a patent infringement? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, I did not mean that, uh, George Lucas. I did not mean that. All right. That's, that's, it does not matter. It is Disney's property. Oh, now. that's true. It is Disney's it's property now. <laughs> George is all kicked back. The overlord has spoken. Like the known mouse button. <laughs> Mickey, no problem, Mickey. All right. So this is, this is basically how it works. You can encourage your player to make the choices that they want to make. So they're going to ask you when they're thinking about making the choices, and that's why your paddles have A, B, C, or D on them. The Twitch gets to vote. All right, Nick? So that's how that's going to work, right? So the Twitch is going to, it's going to get to vote, okay? So this is kind of a fun one today, all right? The reason why it's a fun one today is because we have never started the Great Gooey Dungeon Game Show in a tavern. Ooh. Oh, very good. You don't even need the people yeah. standing there with the signs. <laughs> that was really good. Let's do that again just so I can hear it. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Is the Twitch stream going ooh right now? Because if they're yes. not. Uh, well, thanks to Carrie. Carrie Malsum. Oh, oh tell Carrie. Oh, very good. Yes, good job, Carrie. Well, all right. All right. So here's how we're going to do. All right. So we begin in a place called the Shallow Grave Distillery. The Shallow Grave Distillery is a tavern in the Mournwood that lies across the Mistroon River from the great city of Darkenhaven. It is a fearful place, for long ago, when the city was just being its beginning, following... Not like that. I don't know what that was. It's not a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> there are no damn monkeys in there. <laughs> this is why you never invite a bard to your party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that. Applause, Applause for the party! <laughs> He's the best monkey. <laughs> I am. You are. I work for peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> All right, so so we are in this place called the Shallow Grave Distillery, which lies in the Mornwood across from Darken Haven. Long ago, the city itself had begun there. But when certain wizards attempted to access the high magics, which they could not do following the War of Ruin, they caused a terrible cataclysm, which destroyed all that was there. All the cats. Tore down the buildings, <sighs> slayed the people, and now it is a fearful woodland. But right on the fringe is this tavern. At least they have ale. 
Yeah, they got ale. They got they got that's a distillery. And shallow got little, graves, that a, is a bonus. extra stuff there too, you know, a little stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Well speaking of that, Spirit you know, have you ever had Scotch it. coffee? It's delicious. I <laughs> I have don't, don't ever drink it. <laughs> is that like scotch tape? <laughs> yes, scotch tape. It tastes uh, like scotch tape. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a hand for that great joke. Bard, yes, Bard, yes. <laughs> all right, now, so we begin in the tavern. This is where we are, all right? Now, here is how it's going to begin. All of you, please roll a 20-sided dice and add your dexterity modifier. Yes. Where's my dex? All right. Now, here's what we're going to do with this, just nice, to simplify it, so I don't have to count down from damn 20, okay? Cut it in half. It's a 10 plus your dexterity modifier, okay? So just cut the damn thing in half, okay? So I'm going to start at 14. Okay. Save me six points. You see what I'm saying? Six yep. points, you know, yes, over the course sir. of the day. It could be hours, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. All right, 14s. 14. 14s. Ah, ah, I, my die roll is like my drinks. Dirty. A dirty, a dirty 14. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So, my friend... You look over, and you see four wizards. There is the pointed hat. Okay. There is the strange cultist. There is Merlin. At least that's what he looks like. Yeah, he's Merlin. And then there is the cleric. At least that's what he looks like. Is so he you may. He's just, he's just there. He's kind of sitting there. They're all looking at all you. Right. Okay. And you may choose to pick the pointed hat wizard. Mm -hmm. You may choose to pick the cultic wizard. Mm -mm. You may choose to pick Merlin. Mm -mm. Or you may choose to pick the cleric. Merlin. Please, uh, let us move them, move them all over to the booth to make our life easier. Thank you to Adam. Let's you give know, Adam a hand. Thank Oscar you very people. much. No, not them. They stay there. Move you're them you're over Oscar to the wizard. Yes, yes, people. there you are. Now. Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay with me picking Merlin? Oh, we should have. Yes, we should have done that. Are you okay My apologies. With that? Are you okay My with that? humblest apologies. It's the whole Arthurian thing. I love it. Right? Right? It's very dramatic. <laughs> it, you know. It made I, sense. I, you know, I don't think they were loud enough, though, in telling him. But he still oh. went to Merlin. I can't cut him back. But we need to hear them be loud. Merlin? It is a win. All right. Thank you. So now, here, here you are. Here you are at Merlin. Yes, Merlin. All right? Yes. All right. Now, what do you ask Merlin? about the Mornwood. Anything. You get one free question. Mm. Mm. I really want to ask if I can meet King Arthur. But, but <laughs> the Mornwood, what is the secret of the forest, of the Mornwood? He looks at you and says, the secrets of the forest is that therein are many dangerous things, but much artifacts from the time of the Etherns. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. and by the way, would you like to spin Kismia's wheel? Yes, it's Kismia's wheel! Now, how this works, my friend. Yay! Can you see me? Is this good, Damien? Am I killing you right now? Am I moving out of the no, frame? No, no, no. Okay. So how Kismia's wheel works, you who people who are playing with Armando the Bard, is that they, they may bastards. wager. They may wager 10 gold. Correct, Camera Mandy? 10 gold? 10 gold. They may wager 10 gold, and they may bet on red or black. Okay, how you win this game is by achieving hero points. All right, hero points over the course of the game will dictate which of the four win appear. Now, in the end, it will not be just these people who win, right? It'll be you if you are representing whatever player character is being played. All right, so now gold counts at the end in terms of your gain or loss. So you don't necessarily always want to maybe bet gold because it might start pulling your gold down too far. If you look at the back of your sheet, there's conversion charts to see how much uh, no. or how little you want to hey, hold on. Yes, can you also, so basically that's how you, how you can choose the, the betting, if you will. Now what will happen is you will choose red or black, all right? If it comes up the color that you choose, mm -hmm. you will get a hero point. If it comes up the other, the other side, you will lose a hero point, right? Excuse me, a dungeon point. Excuse me, a dungeon point. I was making rather merry la last night, Mr. Scrooge. So, so, <laughs> so, but if you land on the green, you get five 
hero points. Go ahead, cheer for that. Yes, yes. Yay! Five, five. All right? So that is how it's going to work. So now you have to ask them, do they, how much do they want to bet or do they want to wager? How much do you want to bet or wager? Well, no. Or if you want to bet. If you want to bet, excuse me. Oh. Ask them if they want to bet or save the gold. Do you want to bet or bet. save your gold? Bet. 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 All right. Bet. You are good birds. You really are. <laughs> All right, Armando. Now we have to ask him a second question. Red or black? Red or black? Red. 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 Apparently they're well read. Red it is. <laughs> yes. yes. Are you ready, my friends? Red it is. Here we go with Kid Wheel. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Big money! Big money! Big gold piece! Big gold piece! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And the judges say. <laughs> Ooh, I think it's black. Oh. Your cameraman is going to come over and sneeze? check on me right now. Uh oh. Yeah, it's cocked. It's cocked. Half <laughs> die. <laughs> look at it. Oh. Look at it straight. It's on. all in half. <laughs> it's all. By the way, turn around, my dear. Everyone, this is Cameron Mandy. She produces this program. Yeah. Hey. All right. Huzzah. It's black. Huzzah. Yes, it's black. Yes. Oh. All right. So what happens is you lose uh, the 10 gold Ooh. and a uh, hero, uh, a hero, excuse me, a dungeon point. Ooh. Oh, it's what it is. That's right. It's the, it's the result. So Ooh. you lose a hit point yeah. and 10 gold. All right, so that's right. It is the result. My apologies. When you See, say they lose a hit point, you mean I lose a hit point? Poor, but yes, poor Colopia loses a hit point. Aww. Don't worry, don't worry, stop. But okay. don't don't worry about it. Keep track of it, Armando. You don't even have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, she does have the most. All right. Point. So we were at fourteen. <laughs> Correct. Colopia, I am Brandel. No. Well, I am playing as Brandel. <laughs> I Camera Mandy already, already working good, against good. Brandel yeah, because up. Brandel wins all he the must damn have given time. Them a lot of potions before they came in. <laughs> they were drink going this, to do it so they hit drink points. This. Yeah. yeah, yes. All right. So that now you know how Kismia's wheel damage. works. Okay. I know. I know. Yeah, give, it, give, it, give it to the berserker <laughs> over here. The barbarian. So now you all know how Kismia's wheel she works. Now let's see what happens next. Yes. All right. 14s, where we were at with the dirty 14. 13s. 13, right here. Oh, yeah. yes. Ooh. Brandel is stepping up to the plate. Go ahead, Brandellers. Represent, wizards. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you can no longer go to Merlin, but you can go to the pointy-hatted wizard. You can go to the cultic wizard, or you can do the one that looks like a cleric. Hmm. Mm. Well, let us hear what the crowd decides for All our right. Page. What do you say, Brandelites? A, B, C. Excuse me. A, B, or D? It's like an even split. <laughs> you have to call the tie. All right. What were the two choices that were chosen? It would have been, it would have been uh, A, which is pointy-hatted wizard, and uh, C, which was, or D, C was, wait a minute, C was, C was the, uh, uh, okay, pointy-hatted wizard or cleric? Well, if he has a pointy hat, then he is a wizard. The cleric may probably not be a wizard, and only the wizard is worth talking to, so I will talk to the wizard. All right, so you are yeah, well. <laughs> and as you look yeah. at the wizard, <laughs> suddenly you realize it's not a wizard at all. Oh, it's no. actually a mimic. Yes. Yes. Oh! Yes. <laughs> you have found the monster. Yes, this is the Never monster. Never trust yes. the wizard. Yes, yes, yes. No <laughs> <laughs> you should have picked the bar. Yes! <laughs> All right, so here's how this works. So when the monster comes out, the monster automatically hits whoever uh, brought forth the monster. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the monster is going to do damage on poor Brandel to the tune of four hit points of damage. Ooh. How oh, wow. dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> wizard. I don't like, really want to help Brandel, but she does have one very cool thing Ooh. that everyone else is not because she only has. I thought we were getting rid of it because we, because she always won. But we have not yet, so therefore it is still valid on this game. It is called a slip and slide, I believe, on there. Yes. Yeah. The slip and slide. So, 
If you want to use it on this one. Go ahead, boo. Boo, boo, <laughs> boo. Are you no going to slip? No, slide. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Nice. <laughs> While a slip and slide with Brandel might be fun, I will wait for the opportune moment. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Ooh. saving. Wizard Minus me this. Minus four hit points. All right, we were at, I believe we were at 12s. Is that correct? 11s? 12s? Yeah, 12s. 12s? 11s. Sir Nick, what say you with your friends? Uh, the Twitch stream is going to have Twitch to tell is. you. Oh, yes. D. They want the cleric. The cleric? <laughs> yeah. We shall go with the cleric then. You move to the cleric, and the cleric looks at you, and you realize it is actually a priest. <laughs> a priest of Radion, the god of lightness. <gasps> And you say what to said cleric? I wish to get a blessing from the goddess of Radion. It would indeed be my pleasure to do so. You have found loot! Yes! So the Twitch stream is the first loot getter. Yes, go ahead and watched. cheer because remember, he, poor Nick, poor Nick has no cheers. Yes, 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 poor Nick has no cheers whatsoever. All right, so, so, so you have found loot. So how we do the loot thing is um, that you get a magic item, which indeed is a potion of Healy. Yes. Give me that. God, they're all trying to steal it. Remember what Mandy said about the honor system? Yes. Put station someone over there. Honor among thieves. <laughs> honor among thieves. Oh yeah, honor, honor among thieves. thieves. Honor among thieves. And I have to roll, <laughs> right? They got twenty gold oh, pieces. Ooh. Sorry, twenty pieces or two hundred pieces of gold. Excuse me. So that's oh, sorry. Tw two, so be one. They start with one hundred. They got twenty. Hundred and twenty. Oh, okay. Hundred and twenty. Sorry, not two hundred. All right. All right. So you go out. So you get a magic item when you get the loot. You get a magic item, and you get the gold uh, that comes along with it so that again that adds up at the end of the at the end of the adventure all right so that's how that's how the loot works okay now because he has played before yes he knows what's coming but many yes. of you may not so we'll just play it out so you get to go to uh uh the one that uh, the, the pointy cultists. hat the cultists the cultists oh sorry it's the cultist that's correct yes, yes. go to the cultist so Fleegan sees everyone around Going crazy. Things popping off. Does his little suspenders. Hikes his britches up. Walks up and says, Is there a gold to stay? What do you got to say? My name is Fleegan and I want to know. The nine are going to return soon and all will be doomed. The nine? Yes. You mean the one... You have found a zonk! No! Yes, the zonk. Now the zonk can be fun. All right. So cheer for the zonk and then boo for the zonk. Do both. Hey. You are amazing. Here's what I'm going to do right now. All right now. All right. All right now. Everyone in this damn room gets a prize. We're about to get punched. This is how he gets to be a mayor, right? Now here's the way. See, here's the way. This, I didn't. I haven't really done the battle yet. We'll do that in a moment, right? We have to because they're going to need to fight the monster. I'm going to see what happens with that. But I wanted to make sure we got through each of the things so everyone understands. Okay. So there are there are multiple tier prizes. Okay. Right. So so this is not the high tier prize. You all don't get the grand prize. Okay. No, my, no offense. Right. But uh, <laughs> you know we can't really. Yeah, but bankrupt us. Yeah. Go ahead, Boo. It's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can do better than that. Yes. Come on. You can do a oh, lot better than that. Yeah. We have a history. Uh, yeah. 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 Missing. Yeah. <laughs> You've been known about it before, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So thank you. No, truly, because it's wonderful for you to come down here in the middle of this damn blizzard and all of that stuff. And it's really thank you all for, for coming down and joining us today. So, all right. So you have found a zonk. Now, how a zonk works, I kind of forget. So, so oh, yes. Yeah, right. It we gives everyone up. another prize. Yes, we, <laughs> we roll <laughs> up. <laughs> ah, flee again, flee again, flee again. So here's how this, I, I know, I'm taking my notes. Cameron Mendy has my notes in there so that I actually can remember what we're supposed I'll to be doing it up in this damn game. All right, so here's how it's going to happen. We're going to do a little roll-off, okay? Now it's a straight roll-off. There's no modifications or anything like that, so it's just a straight roll. So Fleegan, Tommy, gets to roll a 20-sided dice, and I will roll a 20-sided dice. I will roll behind my screen so I can cheat if I want to, right? But typically <laughs> I don't, okay? So typically I will not do that. Typically I will uh, make it uh, a fair roll. <clears throat> I, I, have I ever said I've cheated? Yeah, typically, I don't. Typically, I don't. 
Oh look! Oh, I'm just checking my messages. Look, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> you in your hundred dollar bill is there, Armando? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna roll a twenty sided dice. Right. If you beat me, all right. You behind your screen and me behind mine. Yes, Armando. <laughs> Armando. No, you want to watch him? <laughs> oh, oh, this could affect you. Okay. Here's the way a zonk works. If he beats me, okay. Excuse me. If he loses, he loses a dungeon point. We have him upside down. Hold on. If he beats me, right there. he can choose to have another player have a dungeon point removed oh, from them. Oh, ah, so see, you, Armando, you want to make damn sure he rolls fair because, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Keeping your eye on that one, uh, oh, I, I, Fitz Gramus, no. Nick, you are watching this right now? They're going to watch this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Roll off. I rolled poorly. I rolled poorly ish. You probably rolled better than I. What did you roll? Armando, tell him. It's either a six or a nine. We'll go with a nine. It's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It's got the little line underneath, so it's a six. Mm. I have I have bad news for the other players. I only oh. rolled a three. Fling it! Fling it! Fling it! I ripped my shirt. Oh. <laughs> zero. It's a zero. That's what it was. Oh, oh, oh you that, was, that was your D20. <laughs> Mine was still a six. Oh, All right. Where is my so, D20? So this, this is now because Fleegan oh. has won the Zonk roll-off. <laughs> Fleegan can choose to remove a dungeon point from someone else. Okay. Hmm. Now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> not Armando. Not All Armando. Right. Not Armando. Oh. Yay. You have a decision in front of you, friend, okay. but I would advise you do not lead to the path of destruction. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Flip the table! <laughs> Flip the table! My friends, I need your help. With boos and hisses. Boos? Yeah. Is it a boo or a hiss? Both. Wait, wait. So so do you if you boo and hiss, that's the one they choose. No, that's the one they don't choose. So, so silence. So we'll go, we'll go we'll make it easy. No, cheer and then boo. Boo, cheer and boo. Cheer for the one you do but not want, want the dungeon point put away from, and boo and hiss for the one you do. All right, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Boo hiss. <laughs> that was a total <laughs> setup. Did you see that? That was a total setup. I yeah, don't know what went wrong <laughs> over here. <laughs> All right. We have to So help. Brandel has now had a, a, a dungeon point removed. Re Brandel is, as we said before, seems to win all the time, so this is, this is not good if you're on Brandel's team this today. So we'll do our best and for you, but you it's what happens, friend. right? Okay. But you get extra prizes anyway. All right. So now we will do combat, okay? So the hit points have already been taken, okay? And each one of you is going to get an attack based on your initiative. Now, the one thing that is interesting about the, uh, the Great Gooey Dungeon Game Show is that when you are playing... You actually may have benefit from getting later in the round because <laughs> hit points have been taken from the creature before you get chosen. Now, I have mitigated that because in a, f a few creatures here and there, they have like one hit point, right? So I didn't want it to be unfair to somebody who always rolled initiative, but it definitely leans to give the people who have the lower initiative an advantage, right? Yeah, so you can choose to, you know, have no, your choices mitigated by cheating on your rolls. Of course, Camera Mandy will uh, fix you for that, so there will be a problem. But, but, but you can, uh, you know, always try to cheat and then see what happens. Right? Yes, so of course. It's always an option. All right, so, 14. The creature's armor class is 1 billion. I believe it is 100 billion. <laughs> no. It's 16. Do this. Oh, it's 16. Never yes. Armor class 16. Do your worst, Calopia. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, you can rage. There are powers that you have on your sheets that you all want to keep track of. There are spells you can cast. All of that stuff, right? I get the dirk. I don't have... I have a glaive. 
Um, I have a short bow. I have a wakazaka. Wakazaki. Wakazaki. Isn't that a motorcycle? The glaive is good. The glaive. I'm going to use the glaive. It's not a damn motorcycle. But that, that was funny. <laughs> give, that, give that one a hat. <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty funny. All right, yeah, it's a wakazaki. That's yeah. right. Applaud my stupidity. I love it. Yay. <laughs> That's how we got there, a Kawasaki and a Harley. <laughs> I will use my glaive. All right. Okay. Roll your worst. All right. I am a class of the bard. Roll it. Yes. What I got? Oh, oh well, that looks plus plus five is twenty two. Looks like a hit. Woo! That has happened. <laughs> All right, roll your damage for the glaive. It should be right the there. The glaive is one d ten. Boop. Plus your strength. Plus my strength. Oh, one d ten plus three. That, that would be. That, that would be sounds total. right. That would be. Five. Five I points of damage. Yeah, yes, Magnus. From a bard. Yeah. <laughs> I think 15 for anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> In bard map. The monster is still up. Yeah. All right. But not bored. <laughs> <laughs> Never bored. Actually, the monster takes a moment. Says, I just am loving this performance. Throws down a coin, right? And oh. says, Magnificent, you are magnificent. And continues on. Yes, magnificent. Thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. All right. Fourteens, thirteens, twelves. I believe that is you, Six Gramoos, yes. who is playing Brandel. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I, I will very, very prettily use the Staff of Lightning to strike the mimic mm -hmm. before me. And I have. Rolled a one. Oh. I just gave your, you your life back. Your dice are broken, goo. <laughs> <laughs> they always blame the dice. But when it goes well, it's always them. <laughs> we noticed the pattern. You all have experienced this pattern if you are a game master. Yes. Damn it, my dice suck, <laughs> right? Oh, my, I'm killing it right now. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. This is how it works, right? This is how it works. This is the normal pattern, right? <laughs> so if, you, if you've hung around you know, in these games right, long enough, you sort of begin to understand the psychology of it, right? People have little dice jails. You see those little dice jails? I want to tell you unequivocally, my friend Howard, PhD in math from the University of California at Berkeley, Ooh. professor of math at Michigan. Yes, Ooh. unequivocally. Yes, go ahead, say it. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Unequivocally says those little dice jails do nothing. Yes, so remember that they do uh. nothing. Oh. Howard, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Brilliant. six Ramus has missst. We are now on the uh, uh, 11s, 10s, 11, 11s. Yes, 10. thank you, Nick. I think I should do a backflip and like shoot it with my bow. <laughs> Bang! Wow. Do it. I believe that's a dexterity. Yes, go ahead and do it. We have a five plus four, which is nine. What is because he's in the stream? Don't you? I feel like you're cheating right now. <laughs> only, only sometimes. I just want you all to know that never in the history of the Great Gooey Dungeon Game Show has there been Mandy advantage. <laughs> never. So, so this is a new <laughs> thing that I don't really understand. Man advantage. So like you get that. to roll again. I Man advantage. Man advantage. Man advantage. Okay. I was, all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Armando has coined it. From now on. I was going to say that. You That's saw awesome. it first here in the Great Gooey Dungeon Game Show. Man advantage <laughs> will be. <laughs> 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 Man. All right, you got a second roll because of man advantage. <laughs> so I got 11 plus 4 uh, dexterity bonus, which is 15. Which is still a damn miss. <laughs> man advantage sucks. <laughs> oh, God, yes. oh, God. Easy coming, easy coming. oh, you don't know what she does to me, sir, Tommy. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> if you are in our Facebook group, you saw the hat thing. Right? If, you didn't, if you weren't on our Facebook group, you should be because we're a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Yes, gooey, it's called the Gooey Game Master's Den of Enlightenment on Facebook. Yes. And if you don't like Facebook, I have a clue for you. Make a fake profile. Right. We've got like 13 people. In the great gooey, uh, the, uh, the, sorry, in the gooey, gooey den, who make yes. fake profiles because they don't want to be on Facebook, they want to be yeah. in the den. So That's how good it is, I promise. All right, uh, excellent commercial, Alphineus. Give me a hand. Give me Yay! a hand. As the referee of this game, I'm good to say no. <laughs> <laughs> All the rest of you should cheer for me for that because that would have been. Sorry, Twitchies. 
Sorry. Not for you. Yes. yes. That is holding on the offense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm very good. Wait, wait, wait. Football, I, right? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Does the anybody rock. in here know what football is? <laughs> I Yay! Or Blood Bowl. We'll accept Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl. Blood, blood Bowl. Blood, blood Bowl. Blood Bowl. I find that it was very offensive. <laughs> yes. And I agree with you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Wizards know. There is yes. but one person left to attack, and you do have a chance to take this creature down. All right? Those are my daggers. Now, because combat is occurring, get your flank. Yes. Stay. Fleegan! 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 That's a weak-ass fleegening right there. <laughs> uh, guy's drunk in the car. Fleegan! <laughs> <laughs> Got this, bro. All right. All right. Armor class 16. 17. Oh. 17. <laughs> 11. You're going to have to do some damage yes. because it really oh. is. Now, Go ahead and poke I it have with one dagger knives. with the D6. <laughs> the second dagger. Another D6. <laughs> Plus four. Do you like that? <laughs> How do you he do that? He is a wizard with sounds. I think it's a nice Don't leave me hanging on my <laughs> dagger. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Two D six. Two D six plus four. Plus four. Roll good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do you fingers count? Eleven. <laughs> Twelve, thirteen, forty, fifty. <laughs> plus five is sixteen. Wow. You have slain the monster. Yeah! Flee again! Flee again! Everybody! Flee again! Flee again! Alright, so now let me go on record as saying. When you do the killing blow, you get a dungeon point. So that is how it works, okay? Now, I also, at the end, I get to choose an MVP, okay? You, and you can try to influence me all you want. And you're most welcome to do so because that's kind of fun, right? All right, but here's the way it's going to work. I thought See? it was an MVP. A most valuable bar? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many bars here? Okay. So, so, so I get to choose the MVP, right, which sometimes is the person who did the killing blow. Right? But this time it's not, because Armando was incredibly fun in that room. And so we're going to give Armando the MVP. The MVP! Yeah! Yeah. 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 Armando! Yeah. Armando! 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 I just changed his character's name to Armando. You cannot okay. change! <laughs> oh my god! He just did. <laughs> listen, listen, you treat me right, you'll be in the next Shadows in Genzacon. This is a Ooh. chat we're going to have. Does that require pajamas? It requires you to send me... So you don't, y'all don't know this. Oh, if, for those of you who know the gooey thing that we do, we have about 300 people, our friends and fans, who have. Uh, you have to pay a little money, okay? And I apologize for that because we pay artists. We don't make AI art, okay? We pay artists, okay? All right. And as long as this old wizard is alive, we're going to pay artists, okay? Hey! Right. So, and we pay writers, by the way, too. We don't uh, have the, what's the, what the chat thing of a baba ba ba do 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 yeah, that, that thing, yes, that, that makes up words for you, right, and then makes right, we, we're not going to use that thing either, okay? And hard! Humans before machines, yes. We yes. are close to the Terminator. It's coming. I can feel it <laughs> in my bones. All right, now listen. So, so here's the thing. You can send us your picture of you. You can send us a description of your character. And we will make a beautiful portrait of that character. We'll give you some wonderful accoutrements that come along with that yeah. character. And you will be yes. an NPC. Tommy has... And the one coming out very soon. Ta -da! Alistair Swift Cloak. Can you all see that well enough to see that? Thank Listen, you. I'm telling you, we, we, our artists are fantastic. We do not, it's not it's lowbrow really stuff. It's really, I mean, we pay them a lot of money for the portraits. And, and, and it is really a wonderful it. thing. And it's part <laughs> of the community <laughs> of the world of Zion <laughs> And it's part of what we do. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the day, and I believe it's coming much sooner than I expected, when virtually every NPC you will encounter in the world of Zion will be us. Which is pretty fun. That's pretty good. Yes, that's pretty good. Pretty cool. Yes, okay. yes, that's pretty good. Okay. Can, All right. Can I? Yes. Look Please. for the brother's really swift fair. cloak. Me and Rick Ankney. Yeah, we love Rick. Six foot five, four hundred pound bards that can disappear. That's it's really good. Really good. They're, really They're bards, but they can't sing like you. Just oh, trust me on that. And writers. Poets. Oh, next players, right? They've been Poets chosen. Okay. All right. So, so listen. So yes. So we. So we are. I wanted to do one more room with these folks. So. My not God, not the, the time is just going so <laughs> fast. Really? All right, all right. So I'm gonna kick you all to the curb. All right. So, so listen. Can we give these marvelous friends a hand up here? 
All right. You guys are so, great. And, so, and you guys. Just the best. Flee again. 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 Nick, Rob, you got to get busy right now. You're getting destroyed. Nick, Rob. They're already getting My busy. I'm thinking fun. they're going to need a room very soon. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't win. He didn't win. Who he didn't win? Who didn't win? The <gasps> wizard guy he didn't win. Oh, the, we, the, the not adventure's yet. not oh, over. We oh, continue. we just played a long game. game. We are going to bring <laughs> up people from the studio audience to yeah. come up and play. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Lucky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Always a All right. All right. So Thank listen. You. So listen. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for for joining us today and for being a part of this. And really, truly, it was it was wonderful. Always wonderful. great. Always and look, the six Gramus is making plans and plots over there. The long game. Yes, it's long. The long game. What is the long game? I am being friendly, as you told me to do, Alphineas. <laughs> I am not sandbagging him for failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So going to be included if he's not into these. All right. So we're we're gonna Ooh, do winner. surprises, and Ooh. why don't you let uh, why don't you let the, the crew up here announce the names while I uh, figure out the uh, oh, no for the winners. Oh, we're gonna draw some prizes. Yes, let them draw. Gotcha. She's ahead. Why do you get to draw them and not Armando and, and uh, Rob and Nick and and Tommy? All right, it, it's a man van the man vantage. That's right. <laughs> it's a man. Vantage. All right. First of all, the next players playing Calopia, Landon. Penelopolo. Yeah! Next contestant. I'm the gooey show. I'm the, I'm the gooey game show. Do it. Do it. Do, do it right. Do it right. That's right. Landon. Landon. Yo. Calrissian. Canelopus. Ah, oh, Canelo. Lando Canelopus. Oh, Cantaloupe already married. Sorry. Lando Canelopus. Come on down. You're our next contestant on the gooey game show. Hey! Come on down. All right for Team Twitch. Courtney Mason. Good. Yay, Courtney! Courtney Mason, come on down. You're our next. Okay, this is gonna get old. No, do it, do it, <laughs> do it. You're our next contestant on the Gooey Game Show. Yes, yeah. there's only two more, so it's not gonna get that old. Oh, okay. okay. All right, ready for Fleegan. 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 Joe Fleegan. Paxton. Joe, Joe Paxton. Paxton, come on down. Yeah. Yeah. Next contestant <laughs> on the Gooey Game Show. And the last of the last, playing Brandel Steele. Ooh. Tyler Carnestra. Carnes, Carnes, Carnestra. Camp. 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 Yes. Yeah. Tyler. Tyler Carnestra. 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 <laughs> You're our next contestant on the Gooey Game. Yeah. yeah. That's how you did it. <laughs> that you were magnificent. I mean, thank you, my friends. You were fantastic. Please do, do put the little uh, things that are on your microphones, put them down. And then we will uh, we will continue. Have fun, have fun. All right, it's good. Were they not magnificent? Give them another hand. Give them another hand. All right, prize winners. You want me to do this? Cause you are not mic'd. And remember, at the end, you all have won a prize. So everyone in this room has won a prize. We will give that out at the end. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Beautiful. You did great. It's awesome. That way it hooks over your ears, right? That's how it works. And we will be picking one more uh, player to come up here, so you have a chance to still play as well. Twitchies, you all doing okay out there? Your wire is slung over your 
shoulder so that we don't bounce around again. Okay. Well, we're, we're good. We're good. Everyone good? Okay. All right. Are we ready? Already back there? Devin, we good? Yes. Do I still look good? Yes, yes. This is a face. This is a face not even a mother could love. Yes, this is the truth. Yes. All right. We are ready? All right. So, my friends, now we find ourselves preparing to go out into the Mournwood and find a cave that is said to be nearby. We shall see what happens. First of all, introduce yourselves, please. Calipio, yeah, yeah. Hey, Calipio, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've not smoked too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. I'm Joe Paxton, and I am Flegan. 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 Where's my Flegans? Flegan. Flegan. All right. Oh, you're a um, Flegan, aren't you? I'm Tyler. <laughs> my voice doesn't normally sound like this. <laughs> Tyler is very sexy. Let's just. Ooh, uh, uh, Tyler. My voice doesn't normally sound like this. And somehow, <laughs> I always end up playing the wizard. Is that true? Oh. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. All right, my dear. I'm Kat, or Kentori. I'm playing Glenn. Yay! Yay! All right. Give him a hat. Give him a hat. All right. All right. Now, my friends. So here is what's going to happen. You're going to leave the inn, the shallow grave distillery, and progress out into the forest. And if Adam is on his game, Adam is actually going to move your figures. Yes. Go, Adam, go. They will move out. And as you, uh, as you pass out of the doors, you, uh, uh, yeah, something happened to that thing. We must have pulled it. it, 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 it. Lennon, just push that just a little bit. Let's just, just, just straighten that up. Yes, for, for the studio audience. Yes, very nice. Very good. Very, very good. So, so you, uh, you, leave the, uh, you leave the inn. No, do not put it there. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yes, this is not a game, sir. I mean, what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is a serious game. All right. You walk out of the inn, and you, you progress down the path of the Mournwood, and you can hear the, the calls of the birds and the, the strange sounds that emanate, even, even a howl now and then from a wolf. Now, the thing about the Mournwood is that many things are ancient there because of the cataclysm that happened before, right? Does it look good on the TV? How does that look? When, uh, how does that, uh, so, so show me how that looks. Will you, uh, will you De Devin, show me how the, the dungeon looks on the TV. Can you do that? Looking. There's a oh, I'm delayed. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> so I stand here like this. Uh, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Get it, da get it down a little bit. We got to get a little more in frame. You know what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. Forget all that black uh, uh, covering that's just in the back. Get it a little down further. <laughs> yes. I'm watching the delay. It's really weird, you know, because I see him moving and then nothing moves. Look at that. Look at that. Give him a hat. Give him a hat. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. All right. So as you can see, you move out to the Mornwood, you pass through some trees, you pass through a few glades, and you come to a place where suddenly you realize something is not quite right. Oh. There are, oh yes, very good. Do that again. I love that. Yes, I love that. You are very good. Yes. So you look and, and, and you, you swear that you see what looks to be an enormous stone head protruding from the forest floor with a hand Next to it, yes, that looks pretty good, right? When you look at it, you're like, oh, it shit. Does, yeah. I mean, oops. excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Bleep that out, camera Mandy. Bleepage. 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 I did not. You're like, this is... <laughs> I'm in damn trouble after this. <laughs> damn trouble. <laughs> I apologize, all you Gary Connites. Please forgive me for that. All right, so so let us continue on. So so you see this, this stone head and this hand, and they, they look to be stone, right? But dang, they look lifelike. Yes, and there is a, 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 a large patch of, of glowing, uh, a sort of uh, slimy-looking uh, mushrooms that are there, yes? As well as, as, as a big rotted log. All right? So if you remember how the game is played, there is the ominous hand, excuse me, the creepy stone head. One. The ominous hand, excuse me, B. A, B. The ominous hand is B. The putrid mushroom is C, and the rotted log is D. You all hear that? All right. Yes. So now we will roll initiative. Cut it in half. Add your dexterity modifier, and tell me what you roll. Cut it in half? 
Yeah, so go to – and you can round up. because okay. you just take Just take the 10 off. That'll be the easiest way. So that's a 9, right? Is yes. I see it right? Yeah, that's 19. Uh, it's, but it's a 9. It's a 9, right? Nine, it's, yes. a, it's a not 9, right? 9 on the so 19, I got a 13. right? 13. That's pretty good eyes for an old geezer looking on. Yeah, it was. Give me a hand for my good eyes as an old geezer. Yeah, very, very good. You know, we got to do something else. Give a hand to the audience. Stand up in magnificent. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, give yourselves a hand. Yes, very good. Yes. Yeah. Tommy Rice. Thank you. Yes, give a hand to Tommy Rice just because he's standing yeah. up. Yeah. I mean, the damn man is so imposing. Am I lying about this? I mean, look at that no. guy. You know what I'm saying? See, now you just... <laughs> oh. he's, you can't see this, but he's doing the booby thing. <laughs> you, you, know what, you know about the booby thing? You know, that, that, that guy, Kerry Hughes, does the booby thing. Kerry, Kerry, what, anyway, whatever his damn name is, I just know he does the booby thing, you know? <laughs> I try to do the booby thing, and that doesn't really work. <laughs> anyway, I just want you to think about something. If you know about football, and you look at this man... And you understand that everybody that plays football looks like this man? Don't ever play football. <laughs> <laughs> None of them are as handsome as he is. <laughs> okay, they're not as good look not as good looking. <laughs> All right, all right, listen, all right, let's continue. I apologize, I've digressed quite uh, mightily. Camera Mendy doesn't <laughs> like that either. But it was the curse word, it threw me off. All right, so A, B, C, D, okay, ready? Fourteens, thirteens, thirteens. You must both roll off, quick. Eighteen. Three. You are, ah. you are first. You are second. Yes. Do not let me forget. Okay, cat? All right. Now, here we go. A, the creepy stone head. B, Ooh. the ominous hand. C, the putrid mushroom. Or D, the rotted log. Fleans, what do you think? Oh, man. The Fleegans are kind of losing it right now. But that's they the problem are. is they've been passing a box. I see around Ds. It looks like, like Ds. I know that. Yep, it's Ds. D is what it is. Yep. Hold on. I'm going to drink my scotch coffee. Fleegan. <laughs> All right. So you, um, you go over to the, what did we say? D. D, yes, the rotted log. Yes. So you go over to the rotted log and and you uh, you kind of look around and then you you kind of kind of look try to look inside. You know what I'm saying? And a piece of it snaps off and there's a kind of a slimy stuff and you see these termites running around all over the place. But as you peer deeper in there, you suddenly realize it's Kiss Me as Wheel. Kiss Me as Wheel oh, in the rotted yeah. log. Yes. All right, my friends. Yes. Yeah, so Fleganites. Yes. Do we wager? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Joe? How much? No, it's only ten. It's, it's only, only ten. 10? Oh, okay. I, I want to yep. I want to change that though. <laughs> I really want to change that. Yes. Like we next wager. Gooey game show. All right. So you're gonna wager. We're gonna wager. Red or black? <laughs> black. 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 It is. Yes. All right, my friends, here we go. Kiss me his wheel in the rotted law. Black, 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 black. Kiss me his wheel is not being kind today. No, 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 no. Yes. Man. Yes. Kiss me his luck is not for you today, Flea. That thing rigged? It's a piece of crap, but it's not rigged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And, of course, right. Oh, the disadvantage right there. Yes. You, okay, you took off the yes. gold. Okay. Yes. All right, so next roll, you have to roll twice. Take the low. Attack roll and take the low. Okay. Okay, everybody knows what disadvantage is at this time in life? Yes, very good. Yes. You know that? Yes. <laughs> My eyes on you. Did you fill out a testimonial uh, release form that's signed by uh, your father? No, you did, did you? Does he have to be 18? His father's here. Yeah. <laughs> Someday, I'm going to get you up here. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That won't be that. All right. Let us continue. All right. So you have you have gone there. So that was the you are next, cat. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you say? So my friends, cr the creepy stone head, the ominous hand. That's B and C is the putrid mushroom. A, B, or C. It's. Is what are they saying? Definitely gonna be for for the following. 
It's going to be C. We're going for, for the putrid mushroom. The putrid Ooh. mushrooms. Mushy, yes, give a hand for the putrid ah. mushrooms. Yeah. It's, it's See, this better. is what the Twitch stream, see, they are experienced, they and they know that sometimes I put the most least obvious stuff, right, and then I totally screw them up sometimes, right, so I do that as well. But this time, you sneak over to the putrid mushrooms, right, and they kind of stink, right, and you kind of look around, and you kind of pull them around, and all of a sudden, you realize there's a, there's a bag sitting inside the putrid mushrooms with slime on it. Do you grab the bag? Of course. You pull it out. Ooh. Do you open it up? Of course. You open it up. It's loot! Yes! You have yeah. loot in the putrid mushrooms! Yes! The damn Twitchies think that I, uh, they got me figured out, but you don't. <laughs> twitchies go, boo, Twitchies! <laughs> boo! boo. Oh, God. All right, let's go, Twitchies! Uh <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that on the stream? Everybody go, boo! <laughs> Everybody go, uh! Yeah. Uh! <laughs> He's here all week. Give him a hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. All right. So, you have found the loot, and you receive a magic item. Oh, you have also found a potion of healing. Yes, Ooh. very good. Oh, damn, Yo. rogues are always trying to take these things. Just pass yes, right just pass right over, Joe. No trust, Lincoln. There's no trust. There's no trust. All right. So. Oh, the loot. 30 gold. 30 gold for Glenn. Man. Oh, stick around, Team Twitchies. You're going to get some rolls, all right? All right. Who is next? Uh, we were at uh, th was, uh, 12s, 11s, 10s, 10. Your chance to <laughs> give him a hand. Look at that. He's know. got that. Did you see him do that little thing I like that? Did. Here, He's do that again. Posing. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, very good. All right, all right. All right, I don't like what's left for us, but what do you say, guys? Come on, what do you say? A, a, a I'm seeing a lot of A's. Yeah, I'm seeing, seeing a lot of Oh, all yeah. All of them. My crowd likes it. We go big or go home, so we're going to the head. The creepy stone head. Yes, you sir. You come up to the creepy stone head, and you look at it, and you realize, oh, God, this is way too lifelike of stone even though it has been here for a long time and in your mind you think could it have been alive and it is huge yes but as you are pondering it for a moment you realize it's going to say something the lips have begun to move and it says you've been zonked ah! yes you have got the song ah! yes, very, very good, very good. so you and i get to roll off are you ready roll your dice do your worst 14. So as people know, if they've watched this a few times, I've rolled like crazy on the zonks for like three three times, right? So I, what did I roll last time? A uh, three, yes. I just rolled a two. Four so two. yeah, oh, yes, you, win. you win. Very good, very good. So that, that, do you remember how we do with the zonk, right? So you have the option with your friends to determine who you want to take a dungeon point from. And the way it stands right now is Brandel has zero. Calopia has three. That's you, so you probably don't want to take <laughs> one away from yourself. Fleegan has two, and Glynn has one. All right. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> It does work both ways. <laughs> I, I remember that. As an audience member, I am Team Fleegan, so forget you all! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 No, 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 no. We must, even though that is yeah. oh. unbelievably excellent, <laughs> and it's never been done as far as I know on the Great Gooey <laughs> Dungeon Game Show, I have to overrule that. You must represent the team you represent, even though you love the Fleeganites. I regretfully zonk you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, right there, yeah. <laughs> Don't you love a player that's at the table that follows the rules? Yes, even when it hurts them, right? You know, this is just the best. Well played, well played. All right. So that means there is only one thing left for you to do. Do you know what it is? I high-five the giant hand. You walk over to the hand and you give it the high-five. And, of course, 
It is the monster, uh, right? Uh, it is a, but it's actually not a monster. It's actually the damn hand. As you try oh. to high-five the damn hand, it, it high-fives your head, right? Just <laughs> bam, just like that. <laughs> this is what happens, all right? So you take five all hit right. points of damage. Oh. Yes. oh, yeah, I'm going for the uh, I'm going for the slip and slide. Slip and slide. Right? Oh, oh, yeah. The slide slips, and the slip slides, and the hand goes Poo, right next to you on the ground. Excellent slipping right. and sliding. This is why Brandel wins sometimes. We're going to figure this out. We'll see. A lot. <laughs> it's not 100%. It's like night. I'm going to pull it off. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to have to do now. We're going to have to try to kill the monster, right? So you've already taken your damage. Now you each get a chance to kill it. If you kill it with the killing blow, you get the dungeon point. Everybody know that, right? Don't stand oh. how that goes. All right. First was 14s. 14s. Oh. Yes, you were first. Yes. Uh, he's going to... Oh, yeah, that's right. I should have said that. I apologize. <laughs> you actually can give power-ups, too. I forgot that. I should have oh. told you that. Yes, there's power-ups. We want any power-up, Fleegians? <laughs> they do cost money. <laughs> yes, you got to spend money on power-ups. Double dagger. Double dagger? <laughs> he is disadvantaged. I am disadvantaged. Oh. Don't. <laughs> is there an advantage spend? Oh. It will turn it into just into just a regular roll. Did we just take the hit this time? Okay, here we go then. Short sword out. First one is a six. Second one is a fourteen. Yeah. All right, armor class fifteen. So what's your plus? Eleven altogether. I rolled a six first. Oh, because of disadvantage. Yes. A miss. Yes. Sorry about that. All right, cat. Oh. It is you, my friend. Yes. A vowel. Yeah. Oh. If you know what I just said right there, you're old. Or you're well read. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you don't have to use it right now if you want to save. No, I want to use that. Okay. All, All right. right. So. So they have just spent gold to buy a power up. You see that? Auto All right. Crit. Should I just roll it twice? Go no, twitchy. No, on auto crit, you do not have to roll. No, you don't even you don't have roll. to roll. It's okay. just an auto Ooh. crit. Oh, no, that's not true. Don't you have to, you have to hit still. No, you have to roll damage. But I have to roll made these right? rules up. Yeah. It's just yeah. not even right. You should have to damage. roll still. Would, would it not be an auto crit then if you had to auto roll? Auto crit. All right. So that means double damage. So do I double the dice or do I roll it You twice? roll the dice once and double it. Okay. Okay. So 12 damage. 12 damage. Oh it is not enough. Aww. All right. Yes, you are next. All right. What do you guys say? Should we do a power up? We might be able to get some good damage and finish this thing. Rage. 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 Oh. Oh. Give a hand for the rage. <laughs> I actually got a little spit on me right there with this. <laughs> but it's okay. You're right, welcome. A... <laughs> <laughs> actually, it was more minty. <laughs> 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 Do your worst. I'm class right. 15. All right. What do I do with rage? <laughs> uh, it's it's on your thing right there. I believe it gives you plus two. I believe it's uh, and, it, uh, and you get oh, but does, right. isn't it plus two to hit and then double damage as well? Camera Mandy, plus two to hit and double damage or just double damage on the rage, just to make sure. Okay, no plus to hit, just double All right. damage. All right. All, right. All right, let's roll it. All right. Uh, I'm a class 15. Pull out with my short bow and rage bow. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting. Has anybody ever 16. heard of Rage Bow? <laughs> That's a hit. Yeah. 16. <laughs> yeah. All, All right, right, roll your six-sided dice and double it. All right. Oh. Four plus four, eight. Eight plus 12 is 20. Suspense. Still up. Oh. oh. We tried. Oh. All right. I'm looking at my wizards over here. They're buying yeah. the auto crit. Auto crit. Can I auto crit with the firebomb? Whatever you want to auto crit with is fine with me. Oh. We're gonna drop a firebomb spell. Drop the spell right on that right. dang head, right like that. Roll your, you have to roll okay. your damage, uh, and then we're gonna double it. I think it's well, is it three to twelve oh, or three to eighteen? My d six appears to be missing. Oh my god! I have no idea uh, where it went to. <laughs> <laughs> the D6 has a little skull and it's really cool, right, so it's very popular. Yeah, to do this at least twice. All right, so I've got 
12 total, doubled. 24. 24. Do you think that kills the monster? <laughs> the monster just disintegrates. The stone cracks and melts and blah, blah, blah to the ground. You have destroyed the monster. Congratulations. You have the killing blow. Yes, very good. Very good. All right. Now, now, this is very important. I have to pick the MVP. <laughs> flee again! Flee again! <laughs> I still tried with disadvantage. I softened it up. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Right. It's okay. I just have to be objective. And I did give an advantage. There's I should judgment. get an A for yeah. rainbow, rainbow, <laughs> rainbow, rainbow. <laughs> it's like a rainbow, but rage. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna split them. I'm gonna split them. One goes oh. to the rage bow, and one goes to Brandel. All right, how about that? All right, yes. Yeah. Part motions. of this is my bias against Brandel. My well, apologize to you all for that. <laughs> Stop it, six gramus. I will beat you next time in this again. <laughs> Six in a row. Yeah, moose. The moose is loose, as they say. All right, let us continue on. All right. So now you find yourselves being here, and you're going to continue to move on. However, don't I have to get to the next group? One more round. What's Yay. the time is good? One more round? All right, I'll do it fast. All right. They move forward, and they move to, the, uh, to this, this place, this area of standing stones. Do you see it? Yes. Yes, very interesting. Ooh. It's okay, just in the general area. Yes, very good. All right. He says it's 21 after. All right, my friends, here's what's happening right now. You come into the, an open glade, and you feel sort of an ominous presence that lays upon you. Yes, it is a, it is a dark Ooh. feeling. It is a... A strange feeling. But you also can see off to the side of some standing stones, which look ancient, like they have been there for a long time. Yes, for a long time. There is a, a crystalline pool, but it is not water. It is actually crystal. Yes, Ooh. and lays there. Yes, and you look about, and you see that there are there is a, a, a grave marker, also ancient. Yes, the stone has been much worn away. Yes, there's a grave marker, and then the standing stones themselves. So, here is how it is going to go. A is the crystal pool. B is the ancient obelisk. That's a lie. <laughs> B is the ancient stones, that is correct, the standing stones. C is the terrible tombstone, and D is the weird rock that sits in the middle of the standing oh. stones. Roll initiative, let's see what you got. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah. 11, roll off, quick. 13. Eight, 18. Oh. <laughs> Aha, you are first. <laughs> <laughs> you damn Fleganites are running out of steam, let me tell you. We haven't been gone that long. All right. All right. Because Let's... I was carrying them. Oh, you there. were carrying? Oh, <laughs> Rage Bowl was carrying. That's yes, uh, now we know. Okay. All right. So, Fleagan. Fleagans, what do I do? A, the crystal pool. B, the standing stones. C, the terrible tombstone. And D, the weird rock. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a split vote that right there. Give me, a paddle. give me a paddle. <laughs> oh. hey. Did he just ask to be paddled? He did. He did. <laughs> I'm. Not, he does. He must be a bard. It must be. It's. It's Armando. Armando bled off in the seat. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. That's. That's bad too. Never mind. I didn't say that either. Oh we my got God. Kids in the Let's I'm give it one right more now. try. All right. God it's, God, it's like it's terrible like, it's a tomb. Vote. It's, you you got to cast the deciding vote because yeah. there's, there's three Come of on. them. Which one is it? C. C. Terrible, terrible tomb. tomb. C is the terrible tombstone. Let's not get us killed. <laughs> so you, man. So you come over to the terrible tombstone and you look at it and you're like, what is this? Zix Gra Moose lies here. Oh. No, it doesn't say that at all. Oh. 
and you can't read anything that's on it, okay? But it has strange runes, right? And then as you're looking at it, you, you realize it's a little loose in the ground. You might be able to, to push it over. Well, of course, that's what we do. You push it over? Heck yeah. You push it over, you look down in the ground, and you're like, my god, it's Kiss Me as Wheel! Yeah! Oh. Okay. Green, green. Green. <laughs> <laughs> Red or black? Black. Okay. Black. Black. Ten gold, black it is. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, rig. Rig. What is this? Rig. What is this? I did not do anything. Uh -huh. I promise Man. I didn't. Camera Mandy, we need to look at the balance on this thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good drama. Why we do it. Oh, this is this is why we do it. Yes, Camera Mendy likes it to back up on people like that. Wow. Notice it was Camera Mendy. Everybody give Camera Mendy a boo. <laughs> she never gets boos. That's great. All right. So you have now lost two hit points, Fleegan. <sighs> You see that? I see that. All right. I feel partially responsible. You are partially <laughs> responsible, yes. It's your own fault for causing this mayhem. Yeah. All right, who's next? It's you. Yes, go, Landon. All right, all right. What do we say, guys? What do we say? Crystal pool is A. A the, weird the, rock. You can't turn down a weird rock. The weird rock is L. So you move to the center of the stones, and the feeling, the omni the, the, um, the, the terrible, ominous feeling comes stronger to you right now, yes? Mm. And you start looking at the rock and you realize it is not a rock at all. There is moss growing over the top of it, but it is other stray, something else. It is like it was constructed here in the center of the standing stones, yes? And you realize there's a, a niche that is filled with moss. Do you clear the moss away? Yes. Clear the moss away. You look in, and there is some kind of a, a switch device made of stone. Press it. Press it. I am not qualified for this. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarian searches for traps. <laughs> this is how the barbarian always searches for traps. In your game or in mine. Yes. Yeah, this is, I, I find the button. I find it 100% of the time. You... <laughs> You push the weird rock and you realize as it opens up, there is loot inside! Yeah! Yes! You got loot! That's very good! You receive. Oh, that's cocked. You receive 30 pieces of gold. Very good. Yes, very good. And. And. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, yes. Well, these are good, Camera Mandy. These are very good. I can help you choose. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What you, you don't what you don't understand. You find the vicious vegan, battle axe. <laughs> yes, inside the stone is the vicious battle axe. Oh. That that will automatically no matter what weapon you are using, you get plus 1 to hit and plus 1 to damage. So nice. write that down. Make sure you have that. Plus 1 to hit and plus 1 to damage on any weapon that you use oh, because yeah. you found the vicious battle axe. Right. Give him a hand! Yes, magnificent! Woo! Magnificent! Yay! All right, all right, all right. What? We aren't done. Oh. Congratulations, Timothy. Yes, the prize was... We Congratulations, Jamie. And we'll, we'll do them all at the end. All at the end. It's the honor yeah. system. So you, if you come up and say, I won 16 grand prizes, she'll know. <laughs> yeah, so you can't win 16 anyway. Uh -huh. All right, all right. So who's next? Uh, we were at 12s, 11s. Me, I have eight. 10s, 9s? Eight. Eight. Okay, what, do, right, what do you think? <laughs> A is the crystal pool. Oh. Okay, let's do it. You go over to the crystal pool. It is actually quite beautiful. The... The water is like a, 
like a luminous glass. And there's a, there's a little bit of rippling underneath it, but you can't really tell what it is, right? But suddenly, it lifts off, yes, and out of it comes a terrible creature that lives beneath. It is oh, this, it is this, it this is from our friends at Dwarven Forge. That is magnificent, yes. Oh. It comes out, it pops out, it jumps in your face. It says, I am going to eat you for lunch. No. All right, Ooh. everyone, please. Let us be ready for combat, all right? It's all claws. The damage, the mouth is just it is. The damage Oops, is only claws. two hit points of damage. I rolled minimum. Ooh. Twitch. Yes, only two. I got lots of potions. Yes, easy. Cakewalk. All right. So, oh, my gosh. friends, you know, now we have I only one thing food. left, and then we will resolve <laughs> the combat. There's only one thing left to do. Do you know what it is? I believe I'm about to be zonked. The ancient stones, yes? Yes. You yes. go to the ancient stones, and you're reading them, because they have interesting things written upon them. Runes and strange incantations and all that stuff. And right in the middle of them, there's a big word that says zonk. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what it says. So let us roll. Now, the way I'm rolling, this could actually be a benefit, yes? Okay. Let us see what happens. Where's my 20 slider? There it is. Can, can you beat a one? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's. You have been zonked because I rolled an eight. Yes, very good, very good. All right, all right, all right. So what happens is you lose a dungeon point. Uh, e easy come, easy go, Steve. right? Adam's, Adam's on the Twitch stream trying to win prizes right now. <laughs> that's what's going on. Yes, very good. Very good. All right, so you've been zonked. You lose a dungeon point, right? Instead of having someone else, and that is the end of that round. Yes, uh -huh. very good. We're giving a hand to these folks. Yes, and we're going to draw... And these are the new friends. All right, and what oh. time is it? We have a battle. Oh, the monster! Damn it! Well, we got to kill the monster. Or at least the monster going to kill you. We got this. We got this. Who was first? You were first, yes? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Roll armor class 14. Uh, that is a crit. A critical. Crit. That's double damage. Crit. That is double Without damage. Using the short sword. Well, borrow your six, okay? Go for it. Go Fleegan. Oh! That's 14! Wow. Max damage. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Crit, crit, crit. Look at that. I should, the Fleegan should get a prize for that. Come Give on. Give Fleegan a dungeon get, point. Get, I've never get, seen get, that before. Get, yeah. get, a dungeon get, point for you, Fleegan. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's yeah. 14 points. 14, oh, sorry, 6, 12, 13, 14 points. Yes. yes. And it is not enough. Oh. But it was a you good hit. Oh. I did. But it was that a good was hit. <laughs> it was a good hit. All right. Oh. You were next. Yes. Right. Armor class 14. Oh, crit. <laughs> We're not even going to get a chance. You said you wanted I'm this battle quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of frustrated right now, actually. <laughs> All right. Whoa. That's yeah. cocked. That's off the table. <laughs> All right. And double it. Yes. Four plus four, eight damage. Eight damage. Oh. That's 22. And it is dead. Ah! Yeah. Well, that, oh. that's what happens when you crit yeah. twice. You know, you're gonna get ahead of it. We're a team. All right. right. So, there's no alliances. <laughs> I'm ahead, and that's he's me. You. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard on the. Oh, thank you, my friend. That's uh, very good. All right, all right. So I have to choose the MVP. <laughs> he already got a yes. He already. I can't do that. Right. I can't do that. Yes. Yes. I'm going to give it. No, no, yeah, maybe. Can I, can I imagine? I'm, a, I'm a loyal watcher. I can't yeah. disagree with that. Uh, yes. MVP! Yay! See, this is why I make up the rules. That's why I don't understand how <laughs> damn Brandel wins all the time, because I make up the <laughs> damn rules, great. right? So, Thank all right, anyway, congratulations. Cool. Were they not marvelous? Yes, give them a hand. Yes, give them a hand. All right. I'm going to do that right now. All right, my friends, you still having fun? Yes, all right. All right, here we go. Four more players. Here we go. Garrett Lee. Come on up. Oh, wait, I got to do it. Garrett Lee, come on down. You're the next contestants on the Great Weekend Dungeon Game Show. Yes, Armando. Yes, magnificent. All right, next. Randall St. Rom Rom Romain. Randall St. Romain. Oh, you did get up, didn't you, Ren? Ah, very nice, very nice. All right, come on down. All right, 
Nathan Stockbridge. Come on down. Oh, damn, it's another Fleganite. All right. And Trisha Adams. Come on down. Trisha might have left. Trisha? I think Trisha left. I need another one. Pick one. I'm going to pick this one right here. If you have, if you have really, really big writing with black, uh, black ink, you know you're Peter Smith. Come on, Peter. I thought it was you. Come on up here, my friend. All right, we're doing prizes right now while we're getting mic'd up. We'll get you at the end, Ryan. Just remember, yes? Half of them are up here. How did that happen? <laughs> all right. All right. Are you all ready? Locked and loaded. All right. You look beyond the standing stone. Oh, we aren't mic'd up yet. Peter. Yes. Yeah, you got old range bow over there now, back again. Yes. All right, Peter, you mic'd you good? He looks great. He does look awesome. great. I love awesome. it. All right. So, real quick, would you like to introduce yourselves? Tell everybody a little quickly, and then we'll go from there. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Garrett from Ottawa, Canada. Uh, I'm Ottawa. playing Calliope. Calopia, I'm sorry. Calopia <laughs> is a different thing. It goes doo doo doo, you yeah, know, something yeah. like that. Little monkeys run around it, you know, all that stuff. Calopia. Yes. Give him a hand. Yes, yeah, magnificent. Woo! All right. All right. I'm Randall from the RPG Bot Podcast, and uh, I'm playing Fleegan. Yay! Fleegan! 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 I'm Peter Smith from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So Ooh. we're at least half of the players here now. Take the Canadians and all I'm over the <laughs> yeah. Yay! My name's Nate. I love long walks on the beach, poetry, anytime. <laughs> and I'm playing Glenn Witcher. Wither. Wither? Wither. Oh, no. He was to be the Witcher, you know. <laughs> What's your sign? <laughs> All right. Are you ready, my friends? Yes. yes. So you, uh, you look beyond the standing stones, and you realize that there is a cave beyond. Are you with me, Adam? There is a cave beyond. And you, you move forward into the entrance area of the cave, and you realize that there is a door to your right and a passage to your left. This is where you can all have impacts if you want. Do you go to the right or do you go to the left? The door. The passage. What say you? Sounds like door. Down. Sounds door like door it is. Door. You open the door. It is, a, it is a heavy thing, but it is old. And you come into an, an interesting looking room. Yes. You look about and you see that there is a there is a tranquil pool that uh, that is in the that is in a, a basin that is that is actually looks quite pure, right? And there is a there is a large um, there is a large uh, uh, spire that has sort of demonic runes upon it. Yes, the and, and there is there is also a um, a, a, a stalagmite that, that appears to have have uh, have salt encrusted upon it yes and then there are these uh these stone formations that, that that have gathered water over the years are called pitcher pots yes and they are there so a is the placid pool b are the pitcher pots c is the salty stalagmite and d is the demon spire roll your initiatives that do your worst oh dear that was not that was definitely your worst <laughs> that was absolutely that was definitely worst. the worst it could be <laughs> yes all right remember we are tens plus your uh, plus your uh, dexterity modifier all right 14 13 12 11 10 9 9 9 peter it is you my friend yes all we do nine. people half of 11 plus 4 plus 4 well, they could be rolling 10-siders, but they're rolling 20-siders and taking off 10. <laughs> so, just to be clear, Camera Mandy is an excellent producer. Great camera person. 
only been playing Dungeons and Dragons for like a year and a half, two years. Does not have a clue about how you cut the 20 sider in half. Now, all of you all who know about cutting the 20 sider in half, clap. All of you who do not, you're with Camera Mandy. You can talk to her after. All right. So, so. Uh, what we had not. Uh, I, I not see. I, I had. I, I see them changing. I had a split between B and C, but I see three solid C's now. Two B's. Do I have one more? I know. I know. I've got at least. There's one another more. C. There's four C's. Four C's. That's five C's. We're all C's. So C. That would be the salty stalagmite. stalagmite. So you walk over to the salty stalagmite, and you see that it is actually does appear to be encrusted with salt. Hmm. Well, then I'll lick it. Is it salty? So you lick the mm. stalagmite, yes? Yes. And it tastes very salty. <laughs> and, and it tastes so damn salty that you realize, I've been zonked. Yes. <laughs> All right. And again, it could be a good thing, you know, because of the way I've been rolling. So let us see, Peter. Give it your worst. Oh. Mm. Can you beat an 18? You beat it soundly because i only rolled a seven remember i said i wasn't rolling so good. yeah very good you have been zonked yeah. but the zonk is on them yeah. all right so when you're looking peter you can see that Vandel has one that is you calopia has five fleegan has two and glenn has three yeah. calopia 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 <laughs> Calopia. I think Calopia is going to. Take it <laughs> off, Calopia. Yes, all the rest of you can cheer. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yay. It's much rejoicing. Yes, magnificent. All right. Now, I was on a, a, a nine, I believe is correct. Yes, yeah. nine. Eight. 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 Oh, you are also nine, but. Roll off. Oh, you were nine or you were nine with, with Peter? He was a nine, yeah. You are next. Go ahead. Where are we going, boys? Twitch, what do you say? <laughs> Mandy, I believe in you full heartedly. Oh, let's do a D for sure. D is the heck. We'll do D two. is the demon spire. <gasps> well, that sounds lovely. Okay, so you <laughs> walk over to the demon spire, and there's a there's a, a, a a lot of these demonic runes, but also on the one side there's like a visage, a visage. Yes, of what looks to be a horned creature of some type with a tongue hanging out that has a fork at oh the end. Oh my goodness! Yes, and looking at it, you realize it's my mother. Might Sorry, I just got a therapy. Mom, I did not say that. <laughs> it's not written anywhere. It's all his fault. I'm not involved. All right. So you look at it and you realize, no, it's not your mother, but, but, uh, but you think you could uh, pull it open. Ah. Is the handle the tongue? Because I'm totally imaging the handle as the tongue. Yes, you have to grab the tongue and All right. kind of pull it forward. I'm going to take a cloth out because I'm afraid the tongue is wet for some reason. So I pull it up. The wetness seeps through the cloth. No, I knew it. It's <laughs> disgusting. Yes, but it does open. Yes, and inside, good gracious, it's Kiss Me as Wheel. Oh! Eight minutes. How we betting? Okay. How we betting, Twitch? Uh, yes. Black it we is. have gone black every time there and failed, go. so we can't fail this can't time. Can't fail this time. <laughs> it's absolutely going to be red again. <laughs> yeah! Black it is. You gain gold. And a dungeon point. That is oh, correct. my goodness. Oh, sorry. You lose gold and gain a dungeon point. Yes. All right. So what does that put uh, Glynn at? Can you roll some uh, healing potion? Or some yes. Minor. Four additional hit points. You can put it on for using the hit point. Yeah, there we go. Yes, you want to heal if you can, because you're getting to the end now. All right. So now you're next. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. What are we doing, team? The pla excuse me. The 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 placid pool is A, and the pitcher pots are B, and the loot is still out there. Have a drink. But so is the monster. All right. We're doing the pitcher pots. The pitcher pots it is. And you have found loot indeed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 60 gold. Wow. Oh. Yes, He's very good. Nigh on maximum. I All wish right. I could do the chest and thing. <laughs> and you have also found a potion of healing. Very good. Very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> now... You might want to use your healing now. For sure, buddy, time. Okay. Hey, how's everybody doing? Does anybody need health at Woo! the party? Don't do it. Don't help them. Yeah. Don't be that nice. Okay. Don't be that guy. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> the game show, not Dungeons and Dragons. All right. I drank. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's maximum. Yep. Okay. Not even a question. 
two hit points is the minimum it could be. All right. So that means, of course, you all know that uh, the last to go, yes, is going to the placid pool. The monster. And of course, you know that because the loot is gone and the zonk is gone, right? Mm. And of course, the kismius wheel. Mm. There must be. It's perfect for a barbarian. A monster, yes. <laughs> Jumping out of the placid pool is a disgusting creature. Yes, I have to hand it to Adam. Yes, Ooh. disgusting creature who jumps out of the placid pool and said, I was taking a bath. What are you doing here? You're bothering me right now. Yes, in fact, I'm going to hit you in the nose. This is what I'm going to do. Aha, and you are struck for eight hit points of damage. Ouch. Calopia is struck for eight. All right, now we can take on this monster, the disgusting bathing creature. Yes, who is armor class 16. All right, in the same order we did before. Peter, you are first. All right, then. Um, we will hit it with a fireball. But we will, if my team agrees, use up the 50 gold that we have left. Since it's only worth one point, not helping us that much. For the crit. For the auto crit. All right. Wait, nope, nope, that's Fleegan, that's Fleegan. Brandell at the top. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's got lots of money. He can afford to. All right. All right. 46 times 2. 46, 46. Tyke bless my dice. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 2 is 10. Only 20 points. Not enough, but a good try. If you'd rolled a little better, you might have got it. You are next. What's the AC? Armor class is 16. Come on, big daddy. 16 plus 6. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah, 22. That's going to hit. That is a hit. It, girl. Do your worst. We're going to shoot that longbow. No special things going on here, it doesn't look like. I did a whole, get this, one damage. Not enough. Ah! All right. Oh, plus four, five damage. Oh, that was enough. It is killed. Yeah, it's very good. Right, give, it a, give him a hand. Yeah. That's a dungeon point for Glenn. Yes. All right. So now I have to pick the MVP. Glenn, why, why would Fleegan be the MVP? I got out of the way of the fireball. <laughs> Who is here to cheer for Glenn? <laughs> I got to give it to Glenn. I got to, even oh though God, he got to kill. Oh my God, Twitch is lighting up. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to split it. Brandell gets the other one. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's, that's fair. fair. Let's that's do that. Fair. Neither of them the are fireball was great. Yeah. Was I know. Was Neither of them are flicking. Flicking. Yes, that's true. All right. So, my friends... This is where it will end. Now we will do the math, and we will figure out who the winner was. <laughs> Howard! 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 You all even remember me telling you about Howard? The math guy! Yeah, the math. Oh, yeah, you booed him. That's right. I remember all that. <laughs> Poor Howard. Howard! Howard! I had that called. Oh, my gosh. Team Twitch won. Team Twitch. Oh! Congratulations, oh! Team Twitch. Wow, Team Twitch has never won before. Yeah. That's the first time, right? That's the first yeah, time Twitch. On Twitch right now. Let's do two grand prizes. Two. So we'll do one for I'm, Team. We'll do I'm one team for Twitch Team Twitch, and I'm in the room. And one for the room. This is why when there's not a lot of people here, you want to come, right? <laughs> You're like Snowstorm. Oh, I'm going to the Great Gooey Dungeon yeah. Game Show. <laughs> yeah, so very good. Yeah, I do. Come on, Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Yes. Great to be happy. Oh, you, you know what? Come on up, Six Grom Moose. You can <laughs> draw <laughs> this. Right you old grouchy wizard, you. Trust the wizard. Yeah. Come on, yes. Cat. You can help him. Yes, come on. <laughs> One, minute. One minute. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. One minute before hard uh, cutoff. Name. All right, Drink. wait. Hands together. Grab the same one. You can do this. That <laughs> That's it? What's the name? Okay. Woo! Why? Because Dylan has like a magic waiting for him and 
three other things. So we'll give him some really good unique stuff. 30 seconds. We will give you guys the map pack. The nine, the nine, the East for Let's I see. don't even know what's going on right now. Right. Another name, another name. Pull, quick, quick. I'll pull it. I'll pull this one. Cat <laughs> wins. Oh! Hey. All right, 15 seconds. My friends, give yourselves a hand. Hey! Give yourselves a hand. Hey! You are magnificent. Have a wonderful day. It's the great Gooey Dungeon Game Show from hey! Gary Vaughn. Hey! And we're out, folks. Great job. That's a wrap.